told you guys on my last video that we we're going to on a trip for the weekend for my birthday while we went to Vegas and this was something that was planned for my birthday and I took I posted a picture I took my Louis Vuitton Neverfull kind of like to carry my makeup bag my makeup brushes creams things like that and also like my suitcase but this was the purse that I took I didn't use that to walk around Vegas because it's not comfortable at all these straps this was the bag that I ended up using as like my current like carry around bag because it's just lighter easier to carry I didn't need too much because it was just me and my husband and we did have like we watched a show and we had reservations for dinner so when I took it to dinner I didn't have this strap on I just used it like as a clutch and so it's really dirty I still have like everything in here from Vegas and I took out a lot of stuff already from my bag but um, we'll go ahead and show you guys like what's in it because I do want to switch everything out I need to clean this bag up and just get out of this bag now but right here I have my pepper spray my sister bought me this years ago I want to say from Victoria's Secrets I think it's been so long so I'm not sure but I had that on my bag and then inside like I said I took out a lot of stuff because I had my phone my camera and I'm using my camera to record but I had my little makeup bag which I think I'm going to switch out now because I kind of been using this one as like um, a catch-all I had all my stuff in here I was on my cycle so I had like all my pads and my tampons in here and I just have like it's really dirty I have my mints tissue and pills I have my pills in here and that's pretty much it like it's it's dirty I need to like really clean this out and then I took these I didn't take these glasses these were just thrown in here um, when I came home because I've been using this bag maybe for about two weeks now so a lot of the stuff is out of it but I took of course this I have my change in here my long shot pouch and then I recently bought this book at Target okay so I want to start reading books like just books they say reading is good for you so the book that I started reading I'm on chapter I think five I bought it from Target um, I'll let you guys know how it goes but this is the book I started reading and I figured I might as well I should just put my my phone down at times and read a book so that's kind of where I've been and that's kind of where I want to start I want to just start reading it's good for the brain that's what I heard so this is the book that I chose got that at Target for 20% off the book and like I said the bags are already empty because I took a lot of stuff out that I had traveled with but like in the pocket I have a lot of receipts a little panty liner a lip liner so I'm gonna take everything out to clean it and then I had change in this pocket, which I don't like. A lipstick. So that needs to get cleaned. I like to clean it. I like to wipe it down and put it away. But I kind of been like lazy and just I haven't cleaned my bag yet. But this is kind of the bag that I was using the whole time in Vegas. And so I have my wallet. I have a list. A mirror. These are our, um, we stayed at the link, so your receipt. I have a lot of, this is our hotel card. We stayed, like I said, at the link. And this is really dirty. I have my earbuds, some more receipts, lotion, lip gloss, and then my travel brush that I like to take. It's the Chanel one. It's like a little kabuki brush I would say but it's really dense I like to like um, when I'm sweating I like to just like tap my face to get that sweat off and it stays clean because it has a lid and then I have a pin perfume which the pin is in here free because I have a liner in the purse so it's not touching my purse a lip liner another lip liner and then I just I think that's it another receipt we went to go um I booked the Cirque, Cirque du Soleil Mr. Mr. A I can't say that I'm not even I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right but 
I really liked it. It was my first time watching Cirque du Soleil, so I really enjoyed it. It was something for me and my husband to see, and he liked it too, he said. So hopefully I can see um, the other ones, because there's a lot of different ones they show, but I heard that this one was the most like popular, and this is the one that I had booked for us to see. Um, the ticket price was $92, $95 and some change so with everything in fees and all that it comes out to a little bit more but yeah so this was a nice show if you're ever in Vegas check that one out it's at Treasure Island and see I have so I have my chain in here but it's really connected to the inside of the um, what do you call it so I need to clean it so it comes out like this, and this is what I have everything in. So you can connect to your D-ring right there. And so that's how I used it as like a little crossbody, which I need to clean out. I don't like to have change all over in my bag. So I will go ahead and get this cleaned. I'm putting all my change in here. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to switch into another bag. Not sure yet what bag, but I need to clean these first. And once I clean them, I'll go ahead and put them away in my closet and switch out into another bag because I'm tired of that Neverfull. These straps are not comfortable. I did have this bag stuffed, like stuffed all the way to the top. And at the end of the day, the straps left like bruising on my arm here. It was just so red, so uncomfortable. I just, I cannot tell you how uncomfortable the never full straps are, which I kind of regret taking this. I'm like, I should have took my long chomp, but I feel like I always take my long chomp and that's why I wanted to get some like use out of my never full. And that's why I went with this one. But like I said, it's a never full. It's classic Louis Vuitton. I will never get rid of it. Um, I know a lot of people buy them and they do get rid of it, rid of their Never Fools, and then they regret it and buy another one. And the price has just went up so much. I think when I bought that one, oh my gosh, I see a little water spot here. When I bought my Never Fool, I want to say I paid, I paid like fifteen hundred for it, and so I know they're like two thousand now, two thousand or more. But Louis Vuitton is always going up, so if you have a Never Fool, don't get rid of it. It's a classic bag. You'll, you'll regret it later. So, so he bought me ostrich. These are real ostrich. These are exotics. And so we bought these in Vegas. I love these. These are so cute. I love the way they smell. I, like I said, I like to wear them with jeans or um, especially like dresses with a jean jacket. And then he also bought me some python. These are like shorter shaft, like the booties. But these are so cute. These are kind of more my style with the shorter shaft here. Um, I think it's so cute with jeans. And so these are Python. It's like a lighter white Python. All the stuff that he got me was from Vegas. And then I had to, of course, go to Pandora because I love Pandora. And I bought the little, because um, my birthday is October 25th and it's like close to Halloween. So I wanted to get the little pumpkin and ghost set, you know, um, what Pandora has right now for the, for Halloween. It glows in the dark. Well, I bought the little pumpkin. They did not have the ghost. They said they had sold out of that one, but I checked my local Macy's and they have it. So I might just get it there, but it does, it does really glow. But I thought the pumpkin was so cute and I thought, oh, you know, I'll never, I'll never forget it's my, it was my birthday. That's where we went to celebrate in Vegas and it was close to Halloween. So that's kind of why I got this pumpkin. Super cute. Um, he did also, I bought also something from Kendra Scott. Um, they have such pretty bags. Look at the bag. Um, I went and I got the necklace from Kendra Scott and I got my birthstone. So they said this is October's birthstone, which October is really like a lighter pink, but this was Kendra Scott's version of October birthstone. So love it. I think it's a pretty like Barbie pink. And so I grabbed that. 
Where I live, I don't have a James Avery, so whenever I go out of town, I like to go to James Avery and Kendra Scott. I don't have that where I live. We do have Kendra Scott at our local Macy's, but I like to experience like Kendra Scott, the store, and especially James Avery since I'm not close to one. And so he, I bought three things from James Avery and oh my gosh, where's my other one? Let me see. So I had bought, where is, okay. I don't have it on me here. So the first one I bought was a ring and I bought the, what is this called? Horizon cross ring. Horizon cross ring. You can see it. So it's just like a little, don't look at my nails. They're not, they're not done. I did them for Vegas and they're ugly now. <laughs> But yeah, so I wanted this cross ring just because I want, I needed a cross ring. I didn't have one and I thought that was so cute. Is it focusing? So I got that. And then I got the matching necklace that matches, I think it matches the, the ring, but it is right here. And I wanted the necklace. It's called the Petite Latin Cross Necklace. And obviously it's in their silver and so this is what I got so it's the cross and it matches that ring so I love it it's real dainty it's not big at all it's really tiny I wanted something little so that's what I got at James Avery and then I also got a charm it's in the closet though it's the charm the little dinosaur t-rex charm for my son he always loved dinosaurs so I always like that little dinosaur and so I put that on my charm bracelet, which is in my closet. And then I think that's it. That's all. That's everything that I purchased um, on our little trip to Vegas for my birthday. I was going to switch into another bag, but I'm not sure yet what bag for sure I'm going to switch into. I want to go into my closet and like shop my closet. So that's everything I got for my birthday from my husband. And I just wanted to show you guys. So I'll see you guys on the next one.